What is going on guys? Today, I'm going to be showing you how to fix your stuttering on Fallout New Vegas. So, I started noticing because I am a very new player to this game, and I've heard very good things about it. I have noticed that there's quite a bit of stuttering. Like, if I move and move my mouse at the same time, you can see that the stuttering is absolutely horrendous. So, if you are watching this video, chances are you're having the same problem, and I'm going to show you how to fix it. So what we're going to do is we're going to exit our game, and we're going to go to the MSI Afterburner website. And it will be right here, download this, and now it is not actually MSI Afterburner that we are after, it is actually the built-in package that comes with it, which is RevaTuner Statistics Server. So by default, we should have everything we need just by going OK and leaving everything default. And we accept the license agreement. And as you can see here, it is selected by default, RevaTuner Statistics Server. And we're going to go ahead and install all that and just accept all the prompts. We can close out our browser. And now we have the installer for RevaTuner. And we're going to go ahead and do the same exact thing. And we don't want to see the readme because that doesn't make any sense. And we are going to go ahead. We're not going to run MSI Afterburner because we don't need to for this to work. We are going to go ahead. Since it's right here, click RevaTuner Statistics Server. Allow it to run. And now what it's going to do is run a background session. So if you see right here, we have a little icon with 60 frames a second on a monitor. Go ahead and click on that and that'll bring up this window. And now this is what we're actually going to be doing. We are going to be setting our frame limit to the game engine default, which is going to be 64 ticks per second or 64 frames per second. So we are going to go to our Steam library folder. I have mine on my SSD RAID. And it's going to be in Steam library, Steam apps, common. And it's going to be Fallout New Vegas. And the EXE for Fallout New Vegas should be right here. We are not going to be touching the Fallout New Vegas launcher.exe because that is just the little launcher that pops up when you first select it. So we go ahead and click Fallout New Vegas.exe, open, and now this frame limit right here, we're going to set to 64, and that is the game engine tick rate. All right, now we're done. Now if we go ahead and go back into Fallout New Vegas, we should no longer see our stuttering that we were seeing before. And now if I go ahead and take a look around, we have no more stuttering. Alright guys, if you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe. My name is Arch, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good day.